are the supplies you're going to need for this first Christmas craft. First thing is some Scrabble letters. Now both these things I got from Amazon and I'll give you what information I can. The Scrabble letters were $9.99 and I got 400 of them. That's four 100 piece packs. I guess 100 pieces. This is four game packs. Okay? So this would be what you'd have in a regular game. So I got those. Now what I've done with them is I've turned them all upside down on the table here just so I can see what letters I have. The other thing you need is some Christmas ribbon. And now I said these were $9.99 and that's $400. And you can, if you go for Scrabble tiles at Amazon, there's all different numbers. You can get a hundred, you can get a thousand, you can do whatever. And then this is Christmas ribbon. And this is 12 yards of Christmas ribbon. And they are pieces that are already cut. And let me just see, I opened one of the packages already. And you can see, okay, there's the, at the ends here. And it's a grow grain ribbon, and it's one inch wide. And that's the secret. You need something that's about an inch wide. Most of the Christmas ribbons that you buy, like at Craft Outlet or so-and-so, are an inch and a half. But you want something that's only an inch. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to pick out some Christmas words. And I picked out a few already so that I wouldn't be just looking through letters the whole time I was here. And I'm going to start with one piece of this ribbon. Oh, the other thing you'll need is a glue gun. Now, they recommend a low temp glue gun. And that is fine, and I would recommend it also if you're going to be doing this with kids. This is a perfect project for, like, your kids, your grandkids, uh, the brownie troop at Christmas time, your Sunday school kids at Christmas time, and they can put, take a piece of ribbon and put their own name on it, and that would make a nice Christmas decoration. For the one that I'm starting with, I'm going to write Mary. Merry Christmas. M-E-R-R-Y. Okay. So, I have, I, I cut this already because I had these letters on here. But I'm just going to line them up. Okay, and you want to leave a little bit at the top above the, above the word because we're going to put a bow and we're going to put a hanger. And if you want to put something on the bottom, like it's some jingle bells, you'd move it up even a little bit more. Well, let's see how that one works. So I did make a bow already because I didn't want to have to make bows while I was sitting here. So the bow is going to go like this. Okay. And then this is some twine. And you'll need to have some kind of twine. And you can get these at any of the craft stores. I have quite a bit of it from my paper crafting days. I have green and red here. So I made, took the twine and I just made a circle of twine. Can you see it? And that's going to go up here and that will be the hanger. Isn't that an adorable craft? I love it. So let's start by gluing these letters on. And I'm only going to put a little dab And the, the um, low temp glue would be a better idea, especially if you're doing it with the kids.
This is also, you know, it helps them with their spelling and hand-eye coordination. I could use a little hand-eye coordination. <laughs> And you can see that one inch ribbon is just perfect because it just leaves a little bit of a border on either side of the letter. And now we'll take our bow. Now what you do with this is you're going to just wrap this ribbon around it. I'm going to turn it over. I wrap the ribbon around this and glue it down. So I'm going to put a little glue right across the top of this ribbon. And wrap it around this and glue it down. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. Now, I'm going to tell you what I do. This is grain ribbon. I've already done this bow, and this is not something that kids can do, but you can do it for them. I'm going to take the end of this ribbon, and I'm going to bur uh, melt it just like that, that quickly, and that will keep it from raveling. So there you have a cute little... Christmas decoration. Let's make another one. I have this ribbon here that's kind of cute. This is like Santa Claus. So let's make snow. We'll do snow this time. And I'm going to leave a little down here because I'm going to put something on down there. So let's put these letters on first. There, it said no W. Now I have some plain green 
this is thin ribbon. This is like 3 8 inch. And this will make a nice little bow. This is really a better ribbon to make the bows with than the one I made the first bow with. It's easier to tie because it's not as heavy. I get it nice and tight and then I can adjust the loops. Now this was not my idea. This is something I've seen on Pinterest. And if you go to Pinterest and ask for Christmas tile, Scrabble tile Christmas ornaments, there is multitudes of them there to, to look at. Okay, now I have some little bells here. I'm going to see if we can attach a bell or two to this one. And I'm going to use the green twine. These are our yarn bobbins that I had in my yarn stash that I used quite a while ago. Don't know if I can thread these in or not. We'll see. Oh, I think I might have gotten it. You can always use a threader. Well, come on, girls. Let's go. Well, give me a second to get this threaded. I don't want to make you watch me try to get it in there. Okay, I got it. And I'm not tightening them too, too tight because I don't think they'll jingle if I make it too tight. So now, we'll trim these, add a little blob of glue right here. bells. And while that's cooking, I'll get another piece of this green. I 
and we create our tie at the top. And you can put lots of things on here. Not necessarily just bells. I didn't really cut myself a long enough piece there. It's long enough, but it's hard to work with when it's not too long. There you go. So I'm going to cut this ribbon right about here and then I will put it through and we'll turn this over put a little glue on the top of the ribbon fold it down I folded it just about to the um, top of the bow. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at that. I think these are so much fun. And just think, you know, like I said, you could use it with your Sunday school kids and and um, have everybody put their own name on one and then it will go on the tree. Or maybe they can make one for each of the kids in the family. Now, the thing is that uh, with any kind of letters things, you're going to run out of certain letters. So if you have a fairly good size group, you probably want to get uh, maybe more than one package of these. But, you know, the other thing is have them look through these pack these letters here and see what words they can come up with. That helps with their spelling. And the ribbons are really cute. We had the Santa Claus one. This one says Season's Greetings. This one is the one we use that has Christmas trees on it. And this one is kind of a lime green and it says Merry Christmas. Okay, and now that's not the only ones. Each one of these little sets has different ones. This has Santa Claus saying ho, ho, ho. This one says Season's Greetings. So there's lots of choices there. I think this is going to be so cute to hang on a tree. Okay, I'm going to do one more quick one. And you'll see how quickly you can do it. And, you know, I think what I would do if I was going to make a lot of these is I'd get the ribbons tied into the bows early. Sorry, I had to cut you off for just a second. The weed workers were going by the outside of the window here. And I'm going to use a red ribbon this time. Long. 
Isn't this cute? I mean, this is fun. I'm having fun doing this. <laughs> I don't like Scrabble, you know, but I like the Scrabble letters. And I guess we'll use a red twine for the hanger. Now, I just don't need all that, do I? Add a little glue at the top of this. itself. Oh, that's cute. You know, I think I might make a V at the bottom of this one. Now you don't have to do that melting. I just have done it for years with my paper craft. So, whoops, a glue string. They're free. There you go. How precious is that, huh? So there's Christmas craft number one. I think that is, I think it's adorable. And you know what? They're really fun to make. Now I'm just going to sit here and look at these letters and see what other words I can make out of the package that I already have open. I bet there's some other things. And there's other ways you can use these same letters too. So uh, I'm going to show you one of those a little later just to show you how you can use up some of the letters. You don't have them all left over. But you could use these other than Christmas. Use these for little place cards for uh, a party. So there you go. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like. And I will be back to see you on Sunday. Sunday we're going to be doing one more of our... Uh, football snacks and then I'm not sure if I will be back again next week because it's going to depend on mother nature we have a storm out in the gulf that is or will be in the gulf that looks as if it's going to impact our area so um, I'm going to have to play it by ear and we will keep you informed when we know what's going on I'll put it out on the community tab Primarily the problem would be if we lose power, I don't have the ability to put a video up. So anyway, and we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to have too much fun making Christmas ornaments. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So get out some supplies, get your letters, and have fun. And I'll see you Sunday. Until then, everybody play nice now. Love you. Bye-bye.